Hello! Um, <clears throat> another PC related video for you, uh, for all those PC fans out there. Um, my retro painting form machine. Now, I'm making these videos together, this one and the one about the, the Linux box. Um, so, if you haven't already watched that one, go watch it. This It'll explain this. Um, now, I said to you guys that I was looking at uh, trying to change the heatsink in the retro painting form machine because the scythe that I had in the in the in the machine before didn't fit when I changed it to a Cooler Master ATC case. Um, the the scythe heatsink protruded so far out there was just there was no way in hell I was going to be able to put the side panel back on and not have a hot heatsink poking out of it. So, the Scythe is perfectly at home in the Linux box. That's fine, that's calling my Intel Core 2 Quad Q8200. But my Prescott Core Pentium 4, that little 3.4 gigahertz beast, um, and it really is a beast, it can heat up a room in winter quite nicely, um, was being called by this uh, Spies cooler, which effectively, it's a, it's a tad better than a stock uh, 478 cooler, but not by much, uh, to be quite honest. It's a full aluminium construction, and to be honest, this got it's got it got bloody hot, really. So I was having a bit of a think, and I thought to myself, well, the more heat that Prescott generates, uh, then obviously the the harder it's going to work, the more electricity it's going to use, blah 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 blah. So I need to go looking for a good replacement 478 heatsink, which unlike the Scythe, because the Scythe was this machine was what I originally bought it for, uh, unlike the Scythe isn't going to protrude out of this Cooler Master ATC. So I was having a little look and a little look, and I thought, well, I've got a Cooler Master Hyper Evo TX3, which from now on throughout the rest of this video I'll refer to as just the TX3. Um, now that's for Intel socket 775 um, and 1333 I wonder if I can use that on a 478 and then I sort of I sat doing a bit of research and whatnot and people were using bits of wood with different types of nails and things like that and I thought to myself well no hold on a minute this has got this this heatsink has got those traditional um, push um, clips but it's got a couple of screw holes and you can put these things in a different position and whatnot for either a 775 or a 1333. Well, why don't I just sit and see if the holes line up magically by some freaking miracle to match up to this pattern. Or at least so close it won't matter if I put them in at an ever so slight angle. Well, I'm pleased to announce that is exactly what I've done. I have got a socket 775 heatsink to fit almost natively inside of, a, uh, sorry, on a socket 478. And for those who don't believe me, look, I know it's upside down, but that does say socket 478. That is a Hyper TX3 um, cool, uh, from Cooler Master, and it doesn't move at all. No mod, no. Well, there's been a slight modification to, to the brackets, but that's only in placement. Nothing's been cut, nothing's been glued, nothing's been soldered, nothing's been welded, nothing has been touched at all. Um, now, I may be willing to do a guide on this for people who've got old 478 systems and want to upgrade their cooler to something newer. Obviously, if you've got option, if, if you can get something similar to this, uh, although I will say this is actually guaranteed because I've done it um, That gives you some real upgrade opportunities because let's be honest most 478 coolers are gonna be like this To be honest then most of them are gonna be like this Whereas being able to do this opens up a whole load of new opportunities to 478 owners um, That's all for this video guys. I, I need to go test the machine uh, check out the temps, etc., and uh, just generally see what's what. I can't imagine for any sort of reason at all that this would fail. Uh, so all I'm going to say is, if you see this video up on YouTube, 
that means that it's been successful because I won't upload this video unless it has been successful. Um, and that's if it's been successful still in this configuration. Not if I do a little modification here, there or somewhere and not tell you guys. So that's that. And yes, I for those who have noticed, yes, I did bend one of the fins while installing it. That was I wasn't looking what I was doing. Um cheesed off myself for causing that, but there's not much you can do. So yeah, the Cooler Master um Hyper Evo TX3 fits a socket 478. Comment, subscribe, definitely comment on this one because I really want to know what people have to say about it actually. Comment, subscribe, all that good stuff and uh, I will catch you in the next video. Take care all.